PE class. Good morning, everybody. Tuesday, PE class. Let's get after it today. If you're here early, it's dumbbell. Early birds. Early bird dumbbells. I'm Coach Ballgame. You're you. We are we. And here we go. Start with the runny run. If you don't have dumbbells, use cans of beans. Welcome, dude, decent. Welcome, Dinger. Blue Jays fan, cheese, Jake N25, Knott's Berry Farm. My gal, Kristen Erickson in the house. At a girl. Welcome in, Judge Jr. Early bird, dumbbell time. I've got my shirt tucked in because that's what a ball player does. I bet Judge Jr.'s got his shirt tucked in, as does everybody else that has tuned in this morning, including Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. We're just dumbbelling. That's all we're doing. PE will start at the top of the hour. Top of the hour being 9 Pacific, noon Eastern. And pause. my dumbbells here and now we're here welcome in welcome in cheese baseball practice tomorrow for cheese lambo media in the house that's outstanding cheese the world is starting to make a little more sense uh, on the coronavirus front anyway there's still lots Lots to be done on the being a ball player front. And now across, across the body. But yes, baby ball game is going to be starting her gymnastics tomorrow. I thought that might happen. The dumbbells have broken. I guess when one dumbbell breaks, you just got to use the other one. I think it's time for some new dumbbells for Coach Ballgame. So we'll go across. If you've got two, use two and switch over to the other one. I think these dumbbells are about 50 years old, so they had a good run. That's for sure. Welcome in, early bird dumbbellers. That's it. And then go there. We call these the runs because your arms look like they're running. And switch over to the other one. That's it. Our class begins in three minutes. Three minutes. For those of you checking in early, boy, you're, you're go getting it on a Tuesday. Switch. A little tizzle in the house. Sophie G in the house. Make sure you check in with a nickname. At the top of the hour, we'll, we'll go off of Instagram and just use our YouTube. 
going forward, this class will be on the YouTube only. And stop. Very good. My dumbbells are on their last legs. So let's go push up position for all of you uh, go getters who are here a little bit early. Let's see if we can do these together nice and slow. Down and up, down and up, straight back. That's it. Very good. And child's pose. Pretty sure this is called child's pose right here. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's it. And for my early bird go-getters, sit up position. And we're bicycling, elbows to the knees. That's it. Welcome to PE class. Number 72, hard to believe it. And up, and let's start marching. My neighbors have listened to me come out into this backyard 72 times and scream all kinds of absurd words and things and nicknames, all in the spirit of physical education. Start marching. Get those knees up nice and high. Welcome into PE class, Jessica. Yes, Jake N. We have trivia tonight with last Tuesday's winner, ZV Slugger. Welcome to PE class, Gage and McBomber. Start marching. Keep it going. Breathe in through the nose, out the mouth. Here we go, folks. Welcome, Alec. What is your nickname again? Alec O'Toole. Welcome, Mom and Dad. Working out together. All right, folks, it's the top of the hour. Go tell a few friends to join us on YouTube. I'm going to close out on Instagram here. And the class will take place on the YouTube channel. Coach Ball Game, live. I've got my original on-deck drum today, the conga. We'll be playing it loud. And we'll get a good workout in today. Thank you, Instagrammers. See you on YouTube. All right, guys, start speeding that up a little bit. Now we're here. And we're running in place. That's it. Nice, nice, nice. That's it. Get it moving. Get it moving. And three claps. One, two, three. That's it, that's it, that's it. I am going to try to invite some people on Facebook. So hang tight with me, YouTube. McBomber. Mr. Vancouver's ready to go. That's it. And we're going to share there. Share there. Bring them all in. There. There. Bring everybody in. Gonna share with even more people on the Facebook that we are going live.
Very good. Join us live. Okay. That's it. Good, good, good. Okay, three claps, one, two, three, boom, 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 and the arms high. Smell your armpits. Welcome, Tuesday PE. <laughs> Sniff your armpits, just like that. Touch your toes, try not to pick your nose. Spread out wide, smell your left kneecap. Let's get a good stretch in before our workout. Smell that left knee. I'm wearing my Avery Jean baby ball game socks today. These are purple socks with Avery Jean baby ball game's face on them. And right knee. Let me know what your right knee smells like. That's it. My right knee smells like enthusiasm. Side to side. Welcome on my uh, Facebook. We're trying to Rally some people to come work out today on a Tuesday. We're going to attack this class with an enthusiasm unknown to mankind. Let's pick some strawberries. Ready, exercise. One, two, three. 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 Boom. On your bee honkus. Butterflies. Everybody say that with me. Enthusiasm. Type in the comment section, if you can, what does enthusiasm mean? What does that word mean? I can think back to my mentors and my role models growing up, and they all seem to be very enthusiastic. I looked up to them because of that. What does enthusiasm mean? Make a V, touch your left phalange. For all my folks checking in on Facebook, this is Coach Ball Games virtual PE class number 72 we've done this 72 mornings in a row come join us we'll stretch we'll sweat we'll laugh we'll talk i'll ask trivia questions switch over to your right phalange try to get your chest down to your femur please go tell some friends today to join us this is a good thing to be doing right now stretching Working out, physical education, both phalanges. June 2nd, 2020. That's it. Modeling pose, left leg out, right foot across. Twist and look behind you. Oh, what do you say if your back pops? You say, oh, my lanta. Then hug that knee into the chest. I love you, knee. Give it a sniff. Yep, still smells like enthusiasm. Smells a little bit like dog food. With a hint of cinnamon. Switch. Twist and look behind you. And hug that knee into the chest. Fantastic. Downward facing dog. That's it, Dinger. That's it, Soto. That's it, Judge Junior. Good job, Super Henry. Get those calves to the ground. Heels, 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 and upward facing dog. Bark like a dog. Roof, roof, roof. Half moon. That's a half moon. Welcome to Coach Ball Games PE class. You on my personal Facebook. Switch over to the other side. And up to your feet. Hustle salute. Faster, faster, freeze. Three claps, one, two, three. Eye black salute, mustache salute, beard salute, mullet salute, Brad Pitt salute, bounce back salute, scholar salute, double bicep, triple bicep, quadruple bicep, sportsmanship salute. Arm circles, start small, get a little bigger. Come on. And go backwards. Welcome, Firestone. Welcome, Speedy. Welcome, Little Tizzle. Hug yourself. That's it, Judge Junior. Good job, Mr. Vancouver. Move that neck around. I need more people on Facebook. Share this puppy. You able to share it on Facebook? 
share what we're doing. Twist. Twist. Flamingo. Flamingo, flamingo. Switch. Thanks for joining. And 10 jumping jacks on your marks, get set, go. Boom, 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 boom. One minute of a free jog. On your marks, get set, start jogging. One minute. That's it. Good job. If you want to run backwards, run backwards. If you want to run in place, run in place. If you want to run around your house or through your yard or through your living room or up your stairs, free job. One minute. Great job. Keep moving. Thank you for sharing on Facebook. The numbers are going up. Keep going, guys. Keep sharing. This is Coach Ball Game 72nd PE class, number 72, virtual PE, breathing life into this quarantine. Five seconds, three, two, one, and stop. Get a sip of water if you need and go team meeting pose. Deep breath in through the nose, slowly out the mouth. There you go. Give me that uncomfortable eye contact. Let's stare each other down for 12 seconds. Staring contest. Go. If you blink, you lose. If you sneeze, you lose. If Raisin Bran starts spewing out of your ears, you lose. And round of applause. So we're going to start with some exercises to the beat of my drum. I've got my on-deck drum. It's the conga. This is my uh, most prized possession, other than my wife and my kids. Um, but I've got a lot of signatures on here. Mike Trout, Albert Pujols, Roberto Clemente's son, Luis, uh, Whit Merrifield, Alex Bregman, Ken Griffey Jr., just to name a couple. But as I play this drum, you do the exercise that I've called out. The first one is the punch across. Punch across. But we're going to do it as a dance, right? So to the rhythm of the drum, start punching and go. Freeze, very good. Now we're going jumping jacks to the beat, to the rhythm of my drum. Keep sharing on Facebook. Let's bring a million people to this class today so we can spread some positivity all around the world today. Jumping jacks and go. Toes to the hands, the kicks up and up to the beat of my drum, to the beat of my drum. the hips, kick the karate, floss karate, keep going to the beat of my drum, ready and go. There's something about a drum, it just oozes with positivity and joy. People start smiling. When they see somebody playing the drums, they just stop, they look, and they start smiling. There's something about this drum. Keep it going. Let's go straight floss now. Just a straight floss to the beat of my drum. Keep the numbers going, Facebook. Share, 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 share. More people. Let's go. Stop what you're doing for an hour, and let's get active. On your marks, get set. Floss dance. <laughs> Now act 
like you got a hula hoop and you're going hula hoop around your waist to the rhythm of my drum on your marks, Nolan Ryan Jr. Get set, Nolan Ryan Jr. And go. position ladies and gentlemen you're going all the way down to the chest and up to the beat of my drum on your marks get set and down jumping jacks. Now we're going to see how many we can do in 30 seconds. On your marks, get set, go! Keep going, keep going, keep going. How fast? How many? How many jumping jacks? Come on. You can do it. You got this. Yes. 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 Faster. Hope your shirt's tucked in. Yes. Indeed. And stop. Very good. Water break. Soto is in the house. I love it. Welcome. Uh, we're only on YouTube going forward with this class. So uh, Instagram will lead for the trivia contests. But I've uh, hopped onto my personal Facebook to try and get some more people to come. Invite your friends over there on the Facebook. Bring them in. We're going to get a workout in. What class number is this while you're chugging your water? This is Coach Ball Game Virtual PE class number what? Hello, Super Henry. Hello, Mary Kate. Welcome in, my folks on Facebook. This is our 72nd class. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, come on in, stay a while. We're going to get a workout in. We've been stretching and running. It's number 72, says Firestone, Mr. Vancouver, uh, Mary Kate Little Tizzle, Knott's Berry Farm, and Soto. Mary Kate, what's the nickname there? What's the nickname? Oh, that's McBomber. Fantastic. Love it. Knott's Berry Farm. Very good. All right. What I'd like you to do is set up eight cones. Eight cones, as you can see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to zigzag through. Chug that last sip of water, gulp, 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 and keep inviting friends, okay? This is, a, this is a class the whole world should tune into. Let's come together today, and let's rock some positivity. Let's start with our zigzags on your marks. Get set, and zigzag, 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 zigzag. And now we're at the body squats. Ten of these, folks. Two, three. Wherever you may be, your office, Home Depot, your bedroom, your living room, your backyard. Join in. That's it. And very good. Now dance like you've got ants in your pants. And stop. Very good. Drink some water. Trivia question. On your marks, get set. When will our final virtual PE class be? You had to be here yesterday to know that. We will take the summer off of our virtual class. But yes, it will be next Friday, a week from Friday, and it'll be our 80th. So we'll get to class number 80, and then I've got to go to North Carolina and start running some baseball camps and some sandlots. Then I've got to uh, go to Texas and coach some sandlots there, and then I'll be in Orange County coaching uh, my, my day camps and my sandlots out here uh, to mid-August. Now, I will be running a, a virtual camp. If, if you can't uh, get to Carolina or Texas or California where I'm going to be, 
I'm going to be partnering uh, with a pal in New Jersey, and we're going to be uh, running soccer, baseball, PE, uh, all of those different classes, and we're going to smush them into one virtual camp. So stay tuned for that. We'll send uh, out the memo on that as soon as it's up on our website. And I know i got to come to New Jersey, McBomber. That's exactly right. Hey! Let's go floss karate for 30 seconds on your marks. Get set to the beat of the drum. Go! Floss karate. you to uh, sniff your armpits while you're dancing like you've got ants in your pants. Go! Wow! Smells like Oreos and milk. And stop. Quick water. Welcome in, my friend Stronghold. Welcome in, Facebook. Mr. Davis, I'll see you in North Carolina in a couple of days, about 13 days. I'll be there. We're going to play some baseball in North Carolina, Tiny Dancer. Very good. Chug that water. Gulp, gulp, gulp. And now, to the beat of my drum, do your favorite dance. That might be this one, or it might be this one, or it might be this one, or it might be this one. Whatever it is, do it to the beat of my drum and go. Very nice. Back to the zigzag. On baby. On your marks. Get set. And. Zigzag. And body squats. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And very good. Sniff your armpits while you dance with ants in your pants. And go. Sit up position. We're going to touch the ground and we're going to touch our socks and we're going to do 12. Go! Socks, ground, socks, ground, socks, ground, socks, ground. That's it. Six down, six to go. Eight. Nine, ten, two more. Last one. Very nice. Water break trivia question. I'm wondering if you can comment on Facebook. Doesn't look like it. Haven't seen anybody's comments. Uh, anyhow, on my YouTube, you can comment in the comment section. Uh, when is my next baseball trivia? When is my next baseball trivia contest? I have three per week. When's the next one? That's right. It's tonight. 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. And it's with last week's winner, ZV Slugger. So I had Mr. Vancouver first, followed by Judge Jr., 
Jaycan25, Little Tizzle, Firestone, Mc, uh, McBomber, um, and then Dinger. Those are my first to answer the question. Uh, that'll be 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. Back to the cones. It's Frog Jumps. Frog jump over each cone. On your marks, get set. Hop, 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 hop. Very good. Now, this dance. Yeah. And arms across. Keep going. This is a great stomach workout. That's it. And now ballet pose. Foot here, arms up, and try to stay here. Balance, don't forget to breathe. Now arms out, you're an eagle. Now make the sound of your favorite animal. And pause. I'd like you to go get your uh, favorite stuffed animal. If you don't do stuffed animals anymore, go get your most prized possession that you have in your room. This is my buddy George. And we're going to do an a boy challenge. I'd like you to do an add a boy or an add a girl uh, with your prized possession that you have. And then let me know who you're doing it with. I really want to know uh, who are you doing this with. On your marks, get set. Add a boy. Add a boy. Add a boy. Tickle, tickle. And a boy. Huggy, huggy. And a boy. Now, sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game to your friend. On your marks, get set, go. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back for its root. Root, root for the cubbies. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball. Hey, very nice. Good stuff. Now, two minutes of what a ball player does. Maybe you need to make your bed. Maybe you need to clean the dishes. Maybe you need to clean up your room. On your marks, get set, go. Two minutes, do something awesome around the house. Let me know who you did that attaboy challenge with, folks. And then let me know what you are doing um, for your What a Ball Player Does activity. Soto making the bed in St. Louis. He's making the bed in St. Louis. Yes, yeah, Soto, make that bed. How about those pillows? What about the covers? And Ari Firestone is also making the bed in Irvine. 
Grandma's squeaky cheeks did 71 jumping jacks. Making that bed, what are you doing? Bobby Wiggs is in San Francisco. Little Tizzle is feeding her pet bird. Wonder what her bird's name is. At a girl, Little Tizzle. Maybe her bird's name is Andre Dawson. Maybe her bird's name is Mark Grace. Maybe her bird's name is Coach Ballgame. What are you doing around your house to make your parents say, wow, they are a ball player. Little Tizzle used her stuffed tiger did an add a girl challenge with her tiger. What are you doing around the house, Bobby Wiggs? Keep it rocking. If you tell me what you're doing around the house, I'll sing a song about it. And it'll go like this. Yeah. Keep typing. Keep letting me know what you're doing. Firestone used a stuffed Blue Angel Plain. Little Tizzle's bird name is Perry. I'm playing right-handed Bobby Wiggs, but it always looks backwards on uh, Instagram and Facebook Live. But that would be neat. Ooh, let's go to Tampa, Florida. Let's go to Tampa, Florida with Judge Jr. Oh, yeah. What's he doing? He's sorting laundry. Shirts, pants, socks, all the clothes. He's sorting them. Yeah. Bobby Wiggs is drinking coffee in San Francisco. The coldest winter I ever experienced was the summer in San Francisco. Mark Twain said that his real name was Samuel Clemens. McBomber just made his bed. Where are you from, McBomber? New Jersey? I think McBomber lives in New Jersey. I think he just made his bed. Knott's Berry Farm just fed his beetle and his caterpillar. Wow. Knott's Berry Farm has a beetle and a caterpillar. Yeah. Very good. Would anybody else like me to sing a song about the what a ball player does activity you just did around the house? I'll do it. You type it in the section. Firestone fed his cat. Shout out to Samuel Clemens is absolutely right. Very good. So I just want to have a quick chat. Hope you can type in the comment section, either on Facebook or YouTube. Why in the world do we do that every single day? We take two minutes out of our class and we go do something awesome around the house. By the way, if you haven't shared this on your Facebook yet, um, come on, baby, share it. Let some people in. Let some people in. Hey, go check out this crazy guy. He tucks his shirt in and he sings songs about cats and beetles. So the question is, as you drink your water, um, as you stare at me on your computer screen, is why do we do the What a Ball Player Does activities every day? McBomber says, so our parents don't have to do them. Firestone says, because it's epic. Knott's Berry Farm says, because it's kind to the animals. If I feed my cat or my beetle, uh, then good things uh, will happen to that beetle, right? They need food. Yeah, we're ball players. We do things differently. On the back of the shirt, it says what a ball player does. We're different, man. Everybody else, they might be doing something uh, a little negative or lazy or mean. But uh, here in ball player land, we're different. We do things different. And trust me, when you do awesome things like Soto making his bed or Nolan Ryan Jr. hugging his parents, um, or cleaning up the toys like Super Henry, or feeding the dog like Judge Jr. If you're doing awesome things like that, 
um, everybody else is going to look up to you. And they're going to say, wow, huh, they're being kind. They're thinking of others. Uh, it's good. It's really good. Um, I, there's a famous quote, and the trivia question here is, before we get back to our PE class, um, you, you won't understand somebody unless you walk a mile in their shoes. I, I'd like to know who said that. And I'll wait for some answers on the comment section. You can't really be a ball player uh, unless you're thinking about others. And then uh, you can't think about others unless you put yourself in their shoes. So you can really feel what they feel. Who said that? Love you, Andre Dawson. Love you, Andre Dawson. Love you, Andre Dawson. You're my favorite player. Anybody know? Super Henry would know. Right? He's always reading. Think about it. That's right, Mr. Rogers was a ball player in Pittsburgh. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the PE class. Thanks for joining. That'll be your homework tonight. Go look that up. You can't really understand another person unless you walk a mile in their shoes. Very good. All right. Back to the action. We haven't done it in a while, so break out your tennis ball. This is a little segment called The Seven. This is called The Seven. Welcome to all of you joining on Facebook. I wanted to invite some new names, get some new people in here uh, before we break for the summer. This is class number 72. Uh, we'll finish up this week and we'll go next week as well. And then it'll be summer break. And then maybe we'll start back next school year. We'll see how things go. But I have thoroughly enjoyed this community that we have built all over the country. It's been great um, planting this seed of positivity. And then we've got Little Tizzle in North Carolina uh, telling her friends about Roberto Clemente. And we've got Super Henry in California uh, telling his friends about Daniel Nava. And we've got Dinger uh, and Jake N25, Jake N in, in Connecticut telling his friends about what a ball player does. Then you got Soto in Missouri uh, talking about doing push ups and becoming stronger. So we built this community and it's it just, it's like wildfire. It'll spread. It'll spread. Uh, you've got your ball, the number one drill in the number seven uh, exercises is high five the sky, go! Meet it, squeeze it, meet it, squeeze it, meet it, squeeze it. High five that sky, baby. Just a tennis ball. Toss it up in the air. You don't want to catch it below your uh, chin because then you're cup of souping it. We don't want a cup of soup. We want to high five the sky. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. You got to be brave, right? That ball's coming towards your eyes. You don't want to get hit in the face. <clears throat> One of my uh, ball players, his nickname is Broccoli, sent me a video last night. He was doing this on his bed. He was laying on his back on his bed doing this, and he caught uh, a meat squeeze and freeze catch for the first time ever. Let's give Broccoli an attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy. When Broccoli caught that ball, he probably didn't think he'd get an attaboy from Connecticut, Missouri, Washington, Florida, North Carolina, Texas, Pennsylvania. He probably didn't realize. And stop. Very good. Uh, number two is the wall drill. You get the wall, you get the ball, you toss it up against the wall, but again, we got to catch the ball, meet, squeeze, and freeze. Just like this, no cups of soup. All right? On your marks, get set, go. Take a tennis ball, throw it up against the wall, stand nice and tall, and catch it like that. Tennis ball, throw it up against the wall, stand nice and tall, and... Catch it like that. Need it, squeeze it. Need it, squeeze it. Need it, squeeze it. 
My neighbors think I'm nuts. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. I'll do a little drum roll for you while you continue your wall drill. And stop. Very good. Indeed. Awesome. Great job. Great job. Welcome to all of you on Facebook. Uh, if you're just joining us for the very first time, this is the 72nd morning in a row where we've met at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific in the morning, and we work out and we do exercises and we lift weights um, and we have fun. Number three is the alligator. First, let's dance on that toilet together. Sing it with me. Sumo, sumo, dance, dance. Everybody dance on the toilet. Hey, and hold some pizzas in your hand. On your marks, get set, go. Alligator. Toss that ball against the wall. It rolls back, and you smack the alligator. That's it, Dito. That's it, Jeff Nichols. Good job, Metzger. That a boy, Springer. That's it, Romo. That a boy, Preeti. Nice, Lebo. Good job, Wiggy Pudding. Hey, Tuzi. Shelly Bush got a boy. Very nice. That's it, Edge. Nice job, Cut. That a boy, Galley. Ricky Lynn, that a boy. Missed it. 15 seconds left. That's it, Danny. Come on, Bert. Come on, Ebert. And a boy. Oh, I missed it. And stop. So before we do our next exercise, I was just uh, naming off some names, some nicknames. Can you tell me who was I naming? You kind of have to do a little problem solving and some reasoning here. Um, but I just named off like 20 guys' names while I was doing that exercise. Can you guess who was I naming? Welcome in, welcome in to the morning PE class with Coach Ball Game. Number four is the soccer juggling. but I was naming off my teammates on the Brown University team. Brown baseball is correct. My dad got that right. <laughs> my dad got it correct. Soccer ball, and you're going to juggle it without touching your hands. Very good. Judge Jr. got it right. The teammate, my college teammates. On your marks, get set, and soccer juggle. How many in a row? That was five. That was five. That was only two. I'm going to try to improve on that, Super Henry. I'm going to try to improve on that, Soto. Oh, that's four. Oh, that's five again. Six, seven, yes, seven. That's my new world record. I want right foot, left foot, knee, chest. You can use anything but your hands. The internet is out all over Los Angeles, I've, I've been told. Huh. That's not good. We need our internet. Welcome in to all joining for the first time. And stop. Very good. I'd like to know how many you did. That's a toughie. I got seven as my, uh, my biggest number. Seven. Facebook, comment if you did this drill. In uh, YouTube as well. Let me know how many you were able to do uh, in a row. And then, if you got a basketball, grab it for the figure eight. We're going figure eight here. 
but I want to see some numbers before we start. How many did you get Soto, Judge Jr., Knott's Berry Farm? Super Henry, the question was, uh, um, who, said, who said the quote? Uh, you, you can't fully understand another person unless you've walked a mile in their shoes. And we were, uh, we were asking, who said it? Who said it? My main man, Mark, in the house. Soto got 16. Woo, Soto, that is good. Figure eight time. Let's do this. Please share with your friends uh, that this class is going on on Facebook. Come on now. Bring them in. Let them know. It's every morning, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. This is class number 72. Go. One, two. How many figure eights can you do with that basketball or that tennis ball or that sock? That's it. Come on now. That's it. Bend the knees, get the bee honkus down. This really starts to hurt the legs after about second number 30, little tizzle. Hang in there. Good job, Blue Jays fan. Good job, Mr. Vancouver. Third fastest, Judge Junior, Super Henry, Soto, Dinger. Good job, Mr. Vancouver. Good job, Horsehide, Giant, Pool Holes. Jkin 25, Cheese. Lando, Mr. Watermelon. And stop. Very good, very good. Oh, the numbers just went up on Facebook. People are sharing. Thank you for doing that. The sixth exercise. If you don't have a basketball, that's fine. You can use whatever ball you have. But we're going around. On your marks, get set, go. 60 seconds of this guy right here. Good job, Knott's Berry. That's it. Welcome in, Facebook. Grab a ball, do this. It's a little hand-eye coordination drill. Way to go, way to go, way to go. Definitely helps if your shirt's tucked in. Baseball boy has entered the house. Do this drill with us, baseball boy. a boy. And pause. And now go the other way. Switch directions. Not one direction. Two directions. And a boy. Birthday boy. Baseball boy, I mean. And stop. Very good. The last one is the ping pong drill. Ping pong drill. I'm just going to use a wiffle ball and ping pong it with my hand. If you've got a wooden spoon and you want to do some ping pong with a bowled up piece of paper, even better. Um, on your marks, get set, and go. How many in 60 seconds? If you want to go both hands, you can go both hands. Back and forth. It's like a hot potato. Oh, it's hot. Hot potato. Nice. Nice. Boom, 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 boom. Try to keep your eyes on it. Try to keep it off the ground. Think about it like this. If it hits the ground, it turns into a skunk. Oh no, we don't want that. Or it turns into a, a piece of, uh, uh, of, of cheese that's rotten. Or maybe a smelly gym sock. We don't want it to turn into that. So keep it off the ground. That's it, everybody. Go, 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 and stop. Very good. Uh, for you guys on Facebook, every morning we're here on YouTube at Coach Ball Games YouTube channel. Tune in, tell your friends. Uh, we've got uh, seven, make it eight more classes till summer break. So we've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this week. And then Monday through Friday of next week. And then I head off to do all my summer camps. So thank you for tuning in, guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section before you take off uh, and do your schoolwork. If you've already finished your schoolwork, uh, then congratulations. Go do something awesome. 
uh, for somebody else today. That's the key. We just got to wake up every day and, and, and think, hmm, what awesome thing can I do for mom, for dad, for my friends, for my neighbor? Let's do something awesome. Because that's what Jackie Robinson would do. That's what Roberto Clemente would do. That's what Mike Trout's doing right now. Mike Trout brought food for an entire hospital the other day to a local hospital here in Orange County. Sportsmanship salute, Mike Trout. The Washington Nationals baseball team is uh, taking the money they're making and they're giving it to the minor league players. Epic. You're welcome, Super Henry. You're welcome, Soto. See you, baseball boy. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. You're welcome, Knott's Berry Farm. Have a great day there, Frank Stokes, Super Henry. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody.